before it was Tiak, yeah. now it's Paris Plus, it's yeah. the first time that you can really express yourself. What are the differences? The differences I think we've um, we've um, increased the, the span, the, the scope and the speed of the event. Um, I think we expect like a, a selection of the highest quality possible, an excellency in the international scene, um, on the same um, level as the, the same excellency from the French scene, brought together um, under the roof of Grand Palais FML. Okay, so that's, it's an international, incredible level. Yes. And you told me that it attracts new people never seen before, right? That's the feedback I get from the galleries. Yeah, yeah, it's not me saying this. But galleries tell me that they uh, run into people, see people that they didn't used to see in Paris, that are coming back, or maybe never came before. Um, that, you know, um, some galleries are also returning to Paris after a hiatus of a few years. Uh, some galleries didn't come to Paris since 2015 and have decided to come again this year. Uh, we've included a new, a few new positions on the exhibitors list of a, of a high international caliber. Um, so yeah, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite um, optimistic because I'm expecting to see a lot of uh, masterpieces at the fair. And we can imagine that next year when the fair goes back to Grand Palais, the real one, they, they could be like 25% more participants. Yeah, approximately. I mean, it's not gigantic, but I feel like um, it's going to be a very humane scale. It's going to be, um, you know, close to perhaps, um, yeah, 200 participants within the Grand Palais, uh, which is such an iconic and the most, perhaps the most beautiful venue in the world to host an art fair. And in the mind of everyone now, there's a, a mood of crisis. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? I think the the, uh, the the art market is definitely anchored in reality. Um, that um, in the beginning of the year we've witnessed like um, you know the collapse of uh, cryptocurrencies. We've witnessed like the rise of inflation. Of course, the war raging in Ukraine. The the cost of a uh, um, you know wood transport. Everything like uh, skyrocketed. Um, I would say that um, yeah, I mean there are signs um, there are signs of worry. But on the other hand, um, if you specifically look at the results of auction houses, that doesn't tell you much about how galleries are selling within their spaces, and um, I feel like uh, the art market is also resilient, and if I trust the response from the VIPs and the people who invited to partake in the fair, um, I remain optimistic. Merci, monsieur. Merci.